Hello teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po at your service. Alam niyo ba na meron tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema dahil welcome ang lahat dito para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala dahil kahit walang load ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli! Ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Ayan, good afternoon learners from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. So as our dear parents or guardians, also our beloved teachers. You know, saan man kayo dako sa Pilipinas, I am just so happy and excited that we will be learning here today together. Okay, so let me introduce myself first. I am your tutor for today. I'm Tutor Jess, and I am going to be your English buddy this afternoon. But before we start, before we start with anything else, um, magpray muna tayo. Okay? So let's have this one. Okay, Father God, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity that in spite of the of this pandemic that we are having in, okay, um, thank you that we have this opportunity na matututo yung bawat estudyante. Lord, we pray for uh, for wisdom, Lord God, for the knowledge, Panginoon, na na may matutunan ang lahat ng bawat estudyante, Lord God, regardless, and no matter how far our distance, oh God, Lord, kayo po yung manguna sa talakay ngayong araw, and this is our prayer. We leave everything unto you. In this day we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, so let's start our session with attendance muna. Okay, so attendance checking tayo. Sino yung unang pumasok dito? Ay, ang dami natin. Nakakatawa. Okay. So, um, Andrew Ken Bata, good afternoon. Okay, for the attendance checking, you can, you know, you can drop your name, your school, and also your division. Okay, and good afternoon, Pam. 
Also, what's your from Poblacion Elementary School in Bacor, Cavite? Hi, good afternoon po. And uh, what's this one? G-S-C-N-H-S, -S, Senior High. Have a great day also. And thousands of learner, learners, I guess, are watching this afternoon. Nakakatuwa naman po. Okay, yes. Hello, Akisha, Kylie. Akisha Pablo, and pa shout out naman po, Ma'am Jess. Hi, Beshiwa. Shout out. Okay, and also, Teacher Joanne from Giho Elementary School from San Jose del Monte, Bulacan. Good afternoon. And so many more. You know, I'm so excited this afternoon kasi ang dami nating participants. Okay, and just you know, our time today is just so limited, 40 minutes, but I really hope that we will be able to learn a lot. Okay. Um, so, bago tayo magsimula, I guess, learners, grade 6, or my English 6 warriors, gusto kong may ready kayong English notebook, so as your pen. Okay? And I am looking forward to your participation later. And how are you going to do that? Simply, you can just... um answer later dun sa ating comment box section session ah uh, section okay section i guess that uh, that's below or you can um you can have it on your notebook then pagkatapos na activities natin picturean niyo and then send niyo okay i will do my very best para um makita yon at saka i-check niyo all right so let me share my screen to you first and as i am sharing my screen I have a question for you guys. Are you now ready? Dapat ang sagot ninyo? Aba, syempre. Okay? So, one more time. Are you now ready? Dapat pa, feeling ko na really mean to you, no? Okay, so aba, syempre. Okay, so let, okay, let, there you go. Let me share my screen to you. Okay, and nakakatuwa, no? Napakadami natin participants this afternoon, eh. Okay, and I hope na kayo, kayo pa rin or maybe dumami pa kayo in the, in the days to come, okay? So every Tuesday, that's English at 6 at 3 p.m. to 3.40 p.m. Okay, so I hope that you are seeing my screen right now. Okay, so welcome to our English at 6 class with Teacher Jazz. And saying, you can do it. We can do it. Okay, so let's have this one. Okay, welcome English warriors. So I guess you're now ready for our week six lesson. By the way, we are using the pivot module of Calabarzon. Okay, so thank you so much for our module writers from Atin Calabarzon team. Okay, so let's have this one. Okay, this afternoon we are going to study this. Definitely sources of information. I guess you are all somewhat familiar with this topic also. But I prepared, I prepared a question for you. Okay, pag, pag may tinatanong ako, you can, uh, you can answer me gamit yung, sec, uh, yung comment section natin. Okay, so you can drop your answers in there and I will do my best para basahin lahat yun. Okay. Alright, so the question is... What sources do you use in gathering information for your assignment and other school activities? Okay, sige nga. Magbabasa muna tayo ng sagot. Okay, si Aba, syempre nakakatawa. Mga ready na talaga sila. Aba, syempre. Okay, so ano? Uh, what sources do you use in gathering information? For your assignment and other school activities. Okay, yes. Hello, Manchian Guerrero. Okay, internet. Okay, internet from floor. And with gathering information, Daniel. Okay, saan kayo nagahanap or nagagather na information para somewhat like sagutan ng homework ninyo or other school activities? Sa computer, computer, Google. Okay. Possible book. Very nice. Okay, so that's it. Um, sabi ni Idane, it's modular. So module. Possible B. Okay, Nicole, it's Google. Bea, I use Google Chrome. 
Okay, so Sophia TV. Oh, nakakatawa. So, as you can see, di Jan, and dami, di ba? And dami pa ding sources ng ating ano? Ah, uh, para makapaggather tayo ng information. Okay, so that we can answer our activities, our homework, or maybe our assignment or any other research work na pinapagawa sa tayong teacher. Okay, so thank you so much for participating and watching from Cebu. Hello. Okay, so ready nyo lang yung ano niyo ha yung activity notebook niyo. Okay, and then after our ano after our session, ah you can you can take a picture of it and then send it sa ating comment section. So there you are. So I hope yung camera natin ay hindi mahulog. Okay. So actually, um, actually, learners, like a lot of you, or maybe you are used, you are used to accomplishing your homework. Could it be your research work, your assignment given to you by your teacher, right? Pero saan yung aba? kinukuha ang inyong mga information. Okay, saan na nga ba kinukuha yung mga information, yung data, para masagutan, okay, yung homework ninyo? Nakakatawa kasi ang sagot niya iba-iba, right? Okay, so meron sabi dito, book, could it be sa Google Teacher, uh, sa module pwede din, saan pa, sa computer daw, okay, mag-search mag siguro. So as you can see, various, okay, so a lot, so many. Okay, so um, to achieve this, you must be aware also to where to find information and how to access or use various materials or sources. And of course, why are you using different uh, different sources of information? Why do you have to use a lot of maybe or various, not just only one? Shampre for you to maximize, okay, maximize somewhat your learning so that you can you will be able to answer your homework, and not just only answer your homework, but also ma-maximize na yung learning, yung, pag, yung pagkakaunawa ninyo doon sa topic ninyo. Alright? Okay. So, also, also in doing this, learners, my English warriors, you must really consider this a thing. I mean, you should really remember this. Yung credibility, yung reliability ng sources ninyo, ay dapat lagi ninyong kinoconsider. Okay? So, the relevance and credibility of the sources of information you use must, okay, must, okay, must always be considered. Kasi bakit? You know, in this world full of fake news, I hope that you, my English warriors, will stand to spread the real one. Okay? So, you really have that skill of Contrasting and comparing different information, different um sources of information, para like sa inyo palang alam yun na kung paano siya, alam yun na kung ano totoo ba ito or hindi. So you really have to have that. You really need to have that. Okay. So you must have that skills also in comparing. Okay, in contrasting. Like when we say comparing and contrasting, that has something to do with you, um, identifying the similarities or differences it too right okay so we will be okay so that we will be able to see if that okay if that information truly or really a reliable one okay so thank you so much anyway for answering okay answering this question of mine okay and i have prepared pictures actually for you and i guess very easy like to say yes okay so I want to examine these pictures I have here. I have prepared here A, B, C, and D. Okay, but this time around, since grade six na kayo, I want you to practice yourself answering in a complete sentence. Okay, so whenever I'm asking in English, I mean I'm asking you, you try to answer me in a complete sentence. So down there, I think uh, comment box. Sasagutan ni John. Sasagutan ninyo itong A, B, C, and D. Okay, in one, maybe a simple sentence will be. Okay, basta tayo ko lang makita yung like, ah, nagbabasa ang like, reading. Okay, reading. Like, library. Okay, I want, uh, I want to read yung isang kumusap. Okay, one whole sentence. And a simple sentence will do. Okay, let's try it. 
Okay, I want you to examine these pictures, A, B, C, and D, and what do you see in here? Like, what are they doing? I guess this is something to do with my question a while ago. Sige nga, tingnan natin yung mga sagot ng Filipino learners from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Let's see. Yeah, watching from Paranaque City. Hi, Mish. Okay, so from Sofia Bagasan, letter A, he's reading a newspaper. That's right. Okay, he's reading a newspaper. Oh, very good. Ito, kasi, um, you started your sentence with a capital letter, but ah, you forgot something. Okay, how you end it? How, how you must end your sentence? Also, Danielle Charles Ilona. A is the voice with the book. Okay, then you can say the boy is reading a book. That's right. Akisha Pablo, he is reading a newspaper. That's letter A. Very good. Andrea, reading a book. Good. And Hans. Okay, Hans Kairon Rashana, he's reading. Reading what? Is it a book? A newspaper, it could be? Uh, okay. Um, How do you say it? Bea Margaret Sarmiento, my brother is reading newspaper. Oh, nice. Okay. He's your brother now. Okay, next, Sophia Bagasan, boy is reading. How about the letter B na mine? Yung letter B. Okay, tapos na yung letter A. I can see a lot of answers here. How about for letter B? I am going to watch television. I gotta, okay, and why? Jonathan, Jonathan Borby, writing, is it right? Oh, you mean to say reading the newspaper. Okay, so the boy in here in letter A is reading a newspaper. Okay, B, the boy is watching television. That's right, bricks. And Akisha, Adele Soriano, the boy is watching the television. That's right. Okay, next one. How about for letter C now? Letter C. Ano kaya ang ginagawa dito sa letter C? Yes, join. Okay, A, B, C naman. C, C and B. Okay, Elriza. Boy is watching television. That's right, letter C. C naman, C. Okay, and letter D. Ano ang ginagawa? Okay, anong ginagawa nila? Okay, C. Okay, hi, Charles. Codilio watching from Panikuan Elementary School that is in Panikuan, Lagunoy, Pampur. That's so far. Okay, I'm glad that you're with us tonight. I mean, this afternoon. Okay, next is... Okay, C. From Akisha Del Soriano, the boy is borrowing books at the library. A old library. But we cannot do this one because we don't have face-to-face, -face, right? Okay, maybe we do have the library. Okay, letter C. Um, Salvador Francis Jr., the boy bought a new book. Ha! Sa tindahan ba ito? <laughs> okay. And Abram Lazona, the boy is borrowing, borrowing a book at the library. Okay. And how about for letter D? Everyone, letter D. Princess Zairil Uy, the boy is borrowing, the, the boy is borrowing a book in the library. Letter D now. Letter D. Come on, everyone. Letter D. He's studying. He's studying with books. Ah, the boy is searching. Okay, from Kylie Gwinnett Salgado, the boy is searching in his computer for. Ah, okay, so that's all right. Okay, so great job, everyone. Okay, so sa lahat. Okay, sa lahat ng sumagot sa ating activity na ito. Okay, itaas ang ah, kanang. Paa, ay, hindi mo paa. Tanang kamay. Okay, raise your right hand. Put it on your shoulder and you say, good job, Sal. Because I'm not in there to say, I mean, to top you and say, good job. So you do it. So sarili niya, good job, Sal. Okay, great. Okay, so we have here A, B, C, and D. Ito ay nagpapakita. It just shows, you know, it shows different sources of information. Pwede tayo makakuha or makagather ng information dito sa letter A. You've said, you've said, my English warriors, sabi niyo ay, nagpabasa, like, the boy is reading, uh, is reading newspaper. We can get, we can get information or data from reading newspaper. What else? 
sa letter B naman. We have here the boys watching, you've said, the boys watching a television. The boys watching television in here, we can also get information, okay, through that. Right? So, for letter C, we have here, sabi dito may bumibili daw. Okay, but this, but this one, I guess, is in the library. Okay? So, the boys borrowing books. Okay, borrowing books. Saan? Sa library. Okay? So, and for letter D, okay, so, um, the boy is sitting there, maybe searching for something. Okay? And, eto, eto yung ano, like maybe these are just some, you know, of the things or maybe sources na ginagamitin nyo when you guys or when you guys are searching for an information. Maybe like, pagsasagot ng homework ninyo or research work given to you by your teacher. But let me guess. Let me guess. Ang lagi yung ginagawa dito is letter D, right? Okay, it's letter D. Okay, so otherwise, okay, we will dig deeper dito, okay, as we can see. Okay, so for me to know, like, how familiar you are sa ating discussion, sa ating lesson for this afternoon, okay, I prepared something for you. Okay, learning task one. Okay, so what you're going to do is for, for you just to identify the material to be used in the given situation. Okay, so next page, meron ako yung five situations, all right? So you have to classify each as two, print, broadcast, or online, okay? Print, broadcast, or online, and you have to do this in your notebook. And and also, if you can do multitasking, you can uh, you can also do that sa notebook ninyo or dito sa comment section natin, okay? So that I'll see your answer. And yung, yung palawit site natin this afternoon, okay, makaka-receive ng isang libong palakpak. Okay, so anyways, let's start with this one. Number one, what is it? Maika needs to watch news on television. What you're going to do here, you have to classify, okay? Classify each situation as two. Print, broadcast, or ano, isa, online. Okay, so Maika needs to watch news on television. That's it. Okay, patunin. Okay, so kailangan ko sa ulit. Hawakan. Okay, number one is broadcast. Okay, very good. Cian, uh, Cian, Gabriel, Sofia, Bagasan, Aliza, Danielle, Ilona, Jan, 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 Hans, Raul, oh, so many more. Okay, so for number one, the correct answer is broadcast. Okay, number two. Let's have number two. Mrs. De Chavez used the chart which she bought from the local bookshop in explaining the water cycle. What is your answer here? Number two. Lagyan nyo ng number two yung sagot niyo. If it's number one, number two, you put number in there. Okay, number two from John Vincent. Kiron, okay, your answer is print. Very nice. Okay, John Vincent, Kiron, print. Who else? Melanie Fong. That's print. Good. Danielle, Elona, print. Sophia, Tia, and Alexa. Very nice. Okay, number two is print. Number three. How about for number three? Alex tours around Tayaga City using the interactive map installed in his. Mm -hmm. Um, three, number three. Number three na tayo. What's your answer for number three? It's online. Okay. Sian, okay. Sian, Gabriel, Balinget, online. Okay. And Andriel, Ken, on, online. Okay. And Okay, Ashley. Okay, Ashley and Sophia, Aria. Well, okay, very. Okay, free online. Okay, and okay, Alex Tours using interactive map. Okay, installed in his phone. Out. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Okay, Bricks online. Okay, Danielle online. Okay, that's so it. Okay, so how about four? Number four. 
Okay, can we can you do number four and number five? Number four and number five. The learners watch available videos on gardening. Your answer here is. Okay, what's your answer for number four? Okay, number four, the learners watch av available videos on um, online on gardening. Okay, so online. Because it has the word online in there, that's your clue. And last one is, my parents love to read newspaper every morning. That is? Okay, print. Very good, Danielle. Okay, and John, Akisha, Sikaina. Okay, Pai, Print. Okay, and that's the way. Let's see. Tingnan nga natin kung tama ang inyong mga, inyong mga sagot ninyo. Okay? So, I want you to check your answer. That's honest to goodness. Okay, and then later on, maybe you can um, try to take a picture of it and send it and comment it or i-comment ninyo dun sa comment section natin. Okay? So let's have this point. Okay, number one, broadcast, print, online, online, and print. Okay, so na, may nakakuha ba ng, ano, ng five? Okay, so very nice. Okay, so once again, this afternoon, we will be learning about sources of information. I'm just going to give you like a brief discussion. Okay, brief discussion because our time is just going to go right now. Okay, so we have a while ago, a while ago, we have classified our... We have, we have classified, okay, classified our sources in, of information into three, right? What are those? The first one is, okay, can you give me the three? Like, how do we classify the sources of information? I guess we have talked about that. I mean, I have mentioned that a while ago. Okay, the three. What do you That's all. Okay, like, what are the sources of information? We have classified that. Okay, into three. Five. Oh, okay, very good. Uh, how do you, how do you say your name? Mika Al. Mika Julian Celesta. Okay, very nice. Both have printed online. Okay, very good. Very good. And okay, I uh, Andrew Ken Batas. Both have printed online. So as the Sophia Bagatan. Okay, good job. There. Okay. I'm so sorry. I get it out. Okay. So, anyways, let's have this one. Okay. Sources of information we have classified that. Okay. We have the print, the broadcast, and online. Okay. So, let's start with print. Okay. So, for the print materials, okay. Print materials consist of all written or printed materials. Okay. Example. Okay. Example, but not limited to. Pag nakikita niyo sa screen ko, ano yan? We have printed versions of it book, like book, what else? Workbook, reference book, magazines also, newspaper and journal. You know, um, for me, I don't know, or maybe um depending on style, depending on okay, like uh, like etong ano yung print materials for me is like ano siya, parang convenient to you siya, kasi ready available na siya and then you can read the you can read those printed or print materials depending sa kung gaano mo kabilis basahin it's like in your own pace you know and ang ano ng pagbabasa so but then again may mga may mga estudyante din kasi na like okay sa kanila yung hindi print okay pero naman okay okay sa kanila sa print so like it depends 
Okay, so like, sabi doon, it has, sabi nila it has several advantages, but I believe it has also several disadvantages. Okay, so it depends kung saan kayo mas comfortable, um, saan kayo mas comfortable, like, anong, ano, anong, anong materials ang comfortable kayo na, na, how do you say it, like, gumamit? <laughs> okay, so let's have this, um, let's have this broadcast materials, okay. Broadcast materials, ito naman yung, uh, ito naman yung materials na, like, communicated or transmitted via, via use of TV. Okay, TV or radio. Okay, so, um, materials or resources transmitted to public, uh, public to radio and television. Okay, so example, but not limited to. Nakita nyo dyan sa screen ko. Okay, you can, you can read that aloud. Okay, with me. Okay, public service announcement, daily news, weather forecast, interviews, documentaries, what else? Comedies, movies, sports and advertisements or commercials those are typical examples of um, broadcast material okay so maybe meron pa hindi pa tayo dito na ilagay okay that's why i said okay not left. okay so the the next one okay the next one is the online okay we have online material ano naman to online material okay so online materials are learning resources as well that are made available online okay made available online so common examples of online materials are there okay all right so blogs and blogs okay no need for me to explain this because i believe that you already learned this in your pla all right pla nakita ko yata to the like the difference between blogs and blogs okay podcast audio books and ebooks also videos mobile app web pages social media email, and, okay, a lot more. All right? So, again, uh, sources of information, madaming sources na information, but we have classified that into three. What are those the three? We have broadcast, online, and print material. Okay, so let's have this one. Okay, learning task number two. Let's see if, we, if you somewhat understand our lesson this afternoon. So what you're going to do is for you to identify which source of information does not belong, does not belong to each group, okay? So then after eliminating the material which does not belong, okay, to each group, you have to classify. You have to classify the three. As to print, online, or broadcast material, okay? So you answer, okay, you answer in the comment section natin or sa inyong notebook. Let's start. Okay, let's start. Okay, number one, textbook, workbook, reference book, reference books, daily TV news. Which one? Ang ating eliminate. Okay, and okay, I'm going to give you maybe like um 30 seconds to do one to five and then let's answer after. Okay, 30 seconds. If 30. Okay, nakikita yung screen ko, right? Okay, ano ang eliminate yun dyan? And after eliminating, okay, the one, then you have to classify yung natitira. As to print ba yan, broadcast ba yan, online ba yan. Okay? So, tingnan natin. May ready na bang sagot? Let's start with number one. Okay, number one. Uh, okay, so tama yan. Number one, eliminate natin ay daily, uh, daily TV news. Okay, good. Number two, ano ang eliminate natin? Okay, number two. Okay, three and four. Okay, very good yan. Daily TV News. And, uh, John Vincent Giron. Good job. Princess Cyril Uy. Sian Gabriel Balingit. Okay, Bricks Arky Gonzalez. Okay, John Jeff Solomon Sarmiento. Okay, that's right. Okay, so number two, that's e-book. Correct? Correct, Bricks. Okay, number three, that's written. Okay, number three in here. Okay, we have written diary. Okay, Gina Lagura is watching from Sarangani. Hello. And Bea Margaret. Okay, that's the book number three. Okay, number three, that is written diary number four. We have social media in here. And the last number is five. We have book. Okay, now this time around, let's, um, let's, 
classified. Yung natitira natin na tatlo, di ba? We have eliminated the one. We have eliminated one and then yung natitira, we have to classify. As to, ano, as to what, um, what classification of source of material. Sources of material. Okay, so, daily TV news. I don't know. Um, na-eliminate yun. Yung natitira, textbook, workbook, reference book, that is to print. Good job. Okay, next. How about for number two? Number two, ano yung natitira? Anong, ano doon? Lagyan ninyo ng number yung ano, yung sagot niyo so that I'll know. Okay, number two is, okay, broadcast. Okay, that's right. And number three, number three may nakita ko, oh, number four. Okay, number three, how do you classify number three? 36. Okay. Oh, number three. Okay. Oh, number two, broadcast. That's right. Number three. That's okay. Broadcast. Raul, Arnaiz. That's correct. Danielle. That's right. How about for number three? That's online. Very good. Mika, Jillian, Celestial. That's online. Daniel, Elona. That's online. Great. Okay. So as Raul. Okay. Number four. Ano yung natitara natin? How, how do we classify it? I mean, saan natin siya? Ika classify as two. Okay, number four. That is okay. Yeah, that's print. Danielle Elona. That's correct. Okay. Now and okay four. Mika Jillian. That's four. That's print. Okay. Jan Vincent Giron. That's print. Good job. And the last one, number five. Number five is okay. Number five. Okay. Yung natitira natin because we have eliminated the uh, the other one. Okay. Number five is online. Okay. That's very nice. Okay. So. That's it. Okay, so number five, that is online. Okay, and this time around, okay, ito yung answer key natin kanin. I hope that you've got it so right. Okay, and you can just screenshot this one. Okay, classification. Ta-da! There you go. Okay, learning task number three. Okay, tingnan nga po natin sa learning task number three natin. Okay. Okay, since, okay, we are running out of time, we are, you are going to screenshot this, okay, this page yung pina-flash ko dyan sa inyo, tapos sasagutan nyo iyan. Paano nyo ibabalik sa akin? Sa comment section na ito, pwede naman kayo mag-comment, right? Okay, so, send nyo na lang sa akin, okay? So, before, okay, meron pa akong ano, meron pa akong a moment. Yes, I still have two minutes. Okay, so to sum our to sum everything up, let me let me share this to you. Okay, so there. Okay, for final final activity, complete the statements below by supplying the missing terms, and you have to select the given choices below. Do this in your notebook. Okay, so let's have this one. There are. Okay, everyone, my English is six warriors. So let's start. There are three basic. Three basic what? Three basic sources, okay? Three sources of information, okay? So we have print, broadcast, and online material, okay? And print materials, okay? Print materials, basic sources. Print materials consist of all written or printed materials. And number three, okay, yeah. And also the number three and number three. Textbook, okay. Textbook is an example of print material. Okay, next. Broadcast materials. Broadcast materials, number four. Meanwhile, a resource is transmitted to public through radio and television. Example. What's the example? TV ad. Okay, TV ad is an example of a broadcast material. And the last one is number six. Okay, online material. On the other hand, are learning resources that are made available online. Okay, example of this is email. Okay, email is an example of online material. Okay, and we've got it, everyone. Okay, so a moment. Okay, so there you go. Let me end this here. Okay, so our 40 minutes is, is actually over. Okay, I hope that somewhat you've learned something. Okay, and we will see each other each other again next time okay that's going to be on tuesday next week okay same time okay same time as well so i encourage you for you to have your own english six notebook in this episode in this um itulay session okay and kung may tanong pa kayo you can just leave
questions okay in there okay so that's all everyone we'll see you next time i hope you, that you've learned something tonight thank you so much okay wait a minute thank you so much kenchen sophia princess and danielle and a lot more okay from from grade six learners the Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. I'm just so happy, okay, and glad to have you here this afternoon. Okay, so that's all for this afternoon. Bye, everyone. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating itulay free online tutorial session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating itulay tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media accounts. Paalam!